Hey everybody, welcome back to Laptop Seniors. Today we're gonna to talk about eSIMs. And why would you want an eSIM? Well, you're traveling, you're going out of your home country, you're going to another country, and essentially you want to arrive with data on your phone. You could get a roaming plan from your home country, but it's gonna be a lot of money. I got a plan for 30 days in Mexico, all of Mexico, anywhere inside Mexico, five gig, 30 days, 15 bucks and that's pretty much the way it is for country after country all over the world and the other part about it is which is really good without an eSIM the old way what would be happening would be you'd show up in some place like Paris okay and then you'd have to start going through shops and little telephone companies and and you know tobacco shops and stuff trying to buy a SIM trying to get somebody to install it it's gonna be in a different language and get the phone to work and somebody usually has to talk to the phone or at least hear the message in the home country's language and figure out what it's saying and then you know work on your phone and do the whole thing you know that is like super pain in the butt okay with an eSIM you do all of that from home and you do it on your computer it's all going to be in your home language and you can install the whole thing and you know i don't know like probably five six minutes the longest part is going to be inputting your credit card stuff okay you know the number and all of that and your address i want to tell you about three companies today because i've used three now okay the first two were in my estimation awful okay one of them is a really big one you see it advertised a lot but uh, i i didn't think it was all that good the first one is a decent sized one and it was horrible i thought and then the third one i'm going to tell you about it just works. The first one was Aerolo, and we used that for Panama. That was the first time I had ever used eSIM. And I'll explain what an eSIM is later on, but I just want to kind of get to the good stuff first. So I used Aerolo, got to Panama. I think I want to pay, I think I paid like two gig, 12 bucks for two weeks, something like that. Wouldn't work. Never got my 12 bucks back. Okay, fine, it's only 12 bucks, not the end of the world. But it was aggravating, so I thought, okay, check never use this company again. The next one that I used was AlloSim. I used it for Portugal and ultimately it did work, but it never worked the way it was supposed to work, the way they sold it to work, the way the instructions work. And it's not like I'm an old guy that's not tech savvy. I've been into computers before there actually was PCs, back from mainframes on. You could easily work at an Apple store, being one of those people, hey, can you fix this? How do you work this thing? I'm, I'm lost. I could easily do that. So it's not like I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm working with this thing and I'm working, it's like, man, this thing sucks. I can't get this thing to do what it's saying it to do. And there's a really, simple reason why then almost all the companies do the same thing which I find incredibly stupid so if you're one of those eSIM companies please change your instructions because all pretty much say the same thing and it is incredibly stupid okay and I'll get to that okay so hang on for that one all right uh, and, and also if you have had trouble with an eSIM this will make it so much simpler when I tell you what not to do and the installation process so I'm using this Allo Sim, and we get to Portugal, and what you want to do is the plane lands, you got lots of time before they ever get to the gate to unload you off the plane. You want to just turn to your phone, say you're from Louisville, you, you know, that, that's where you live, that's where your phone company is, you turn that Sim off, and you turn the, the new eSIM on, you wait about 20, 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and boom, it kicks in on the carrier in wherever you're going, let's say it's Paris, so a Paris telephone company starts working with your phone and there's your data, good to go. And whatever you bought, that's what you're gonna get for the amount of time that you bought, okay? I'm on the plane and I can't get it to work and I'm doing everything possible that it says to do and it's like, this sucks. And without data, you can't go to the net to actually you know, ask for some other instructions. You know, it's like you're, you're back in like 1944 or something like that where, where there's no technical anything. And if we get into, you know, you go through customs, you go through immigration and all that sort of stuff. You can't take the phone out, so I can't do anything. So anyway, at the airport, we sat in a little restaurant cafe thing for 45 minutes trying to get that thing to work because they wanted to get an Uber into Lisbon. And then finally, finally, I got it to activate. Okay, so the learning process for that was, okay, I don't like this company. I will never use Allosim again, but it did work. 
okay ultimately it did work and my takeaway from that would was basically if you have that company and maybe even the first company and probably some other companies you really need to do the whole process buy the sim try to activate it everything in the country it's like you'd kind of almost want to get off the plane get on a regular taxi go to a hotel start using the hotels you know wi-fi and then go on your phone and you know on your computer and buy a plan and then kick yourself in probably would work a lot better the third company that i tried and i've done it twice now in two different countries and it's worked fine exactly the way it says it's supposed to work is nomad okay that's the name of the company nomad and it's getnomad.com okay that's and i'm not getting paid for this they're not sponsored it was just such an aggravation that I, because i just went through this again that i just thought okay you know what i i think this might be a good video for people to actually know what they're up against okay so this is what happens with nomad you install it in your home country so i'm in a home country i buy it it sends me a qr code i take the phone out and i shoot the Q qr code you know you hold it up click boom you get that little address that pops up there, that little yellow thing, touch it, boom. It goes to a, a, a particular website, URL, you, you know, something comes up, you hit, you know, start, 10 seconds later, it's on your phone. It's installed, done. That's it, you're good to go. At that point you have, I can't remember, it's either 30 or 60 days, I think it's 60 days. I probably should have looked that up ahead of time before I did this, but, Anyway, suffice to say, you now, from the point that you install it, you have like 60 days or 30 days to get to the country where you're going to. And then, like we did now the last two times, the plane lands, you know, and touches down. Everybody's getting up and scrambling for their bags. You just take out your phone and you go, where's my new eSIM? Oh, there it is. Let me turn that baby on. Click. Let me turn my other SIM off. Click. Let me wait a little bit, 30 seconds, minute. This one took a little longer, but oh, a minute and a half, boom, kicks in, there it is. Okay, at and in this particular country, and it's not the US. And all of a sudden, I get data. Five gig, 30 days, $15. So I would recommend Nomad to you if you ever wanted an eSIM and you did not want to buy the exorbitant roaming plan thing. Um, you know, because one of the good things about if you use WhatsApp, WhatsApp obviously you need data. All of a sudden you're gonna have data on your phone and your WhatsApp app will work because your WhatsApp app is seeing the data on your phone that you just bought with the eSIM and it's gonna to talk to anybody anywhere in the world. We use that and we also use the Magic Jack app um, because I think I did a video on that and I explained it all. I'm not gonna go through it here, but essentially it's a phone app that's looking for data to actually work. So you don't need a number for whatever country you're going to because you've got your home number in whatever country you know, you're set up in. So it's a really great process. Now, this is the mistake. And you know, if you're one of those companies that sells eSIMs, make this really clear to people because the way everyone always writes the instructions, it seems like you should do what I'm about to tell you, but you shouldn't do it because it ultimately is stupid and you get into a problem. What they tell you to do is, you know, sign up, choose what you want, what plan do you want? Do you want five gig, two gig, unlimited, 20 gig, 50 gig? Here's the price, how much the time, blah, blah, blah. Put your credit card in and buy it and then the QR code will show up, okay, on your screen and you're good. But they make it appear, all of them do this, that you really should do this on your phone because you know it's a phone it's a phone thing it's an eSIM for your phone okay and that seems logical except that when you have a QR code and the QR code is on your phone how is the camera on the back of your phone going to shoot that thing on the front it's impossible it's like so stupid like there should be like big you know red you know flashing do not do this on your phone by you know the eSIM and get the QR code on your computer because when you do that which is you know what I did the last time again super simple you buy it with your computer the QR code appears on your computer screen you then take out your phone click like that there's the QR code 
the thing pops up, you hit go, installed. And then when you get to the country, again, you take out your phone, you activate the thing, it goes looking for the local cell phone company and turns on the data and you're good, it's just like you live there. So hopefully that, uh, if you've ever had frustration and lost money with an eSIM company, that will explain it to you, um, you know, what you're up against. And I would heartily recommend the company called Nomad. Get nomad.com. Not a sponsored video. We get nothing out of it. It's just sheer frustration. Hopefully, I'm saving you from, okay? So, until the next video, I uh, hope this helped and hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Ooh.